Emmanuel Lutheran School, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. So we all have fathers and mothers, right? And we love them. Sometimes they get upset with us, that's probably true. Sometimes we get upset with them, probably that's true. But we have fathers and mothers and we love them, right? And we love our mothers and fathers. But the thing is, if you love someone, really love someone, you ought to know something about them. You ought to know things about them, right? If you love somebody, if you say you love somebody, you ought to know something about them. For example, I was talking to a student at another Lutheran school in New Hampshire a few years ago, and I was asking him about his mom and his dad. And so I asked him, so where were your parents born? I asked him, what state? Do you know the city? He didn't know. He didn't know where they were born. Had no idea which state, which city. No, he didn't know. Oh, I said, okay, all right. So you don't know where your parents were born? All right. All right, well, what does your father do for a living? I asked him. I'm not really sure, he asked, answered me. I'm not really sure, you know, what he does. I think, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, so you don't know what your dad does for a living. Well, what about your mom? Does she work? Yeah. Well, what does your mom do for a living? You know, do you know? Well, I think she works maybe with people, maybe hurt people, but I'm not really sure about that either. I said, oh, okay, all right. And I thought, wow, that's really odd. That's really strange. I know this boy loves his mother, loves his father, no question about that, he really did, but he didn't know much about them. That I thought was kind of odd. And I thought about that. Because the thing is, if we love someone, we ought to know something about them. So I ask you, do you have a savior? Do you have a savior? And you answer, yeah, we have a savior. And then I say, well, yeah, but do you know his name? So do you know anything about him? And you say, well, yeah, I think we kinda, I think we kinda know his name. And I say, all right, so what is his name? And you say, what his name is. And then I ask you, well, you, you know his name actually means something, right? It actually means something, his name does. So do you know what it means? And you say, well, not really sure what his name means. And I say to you, well, you could ask your teacher or your pastor, what does the name Jesus mean? Because it does mean something. So you might want to know that about Jesus. So do you know where he was born? Do you know where your Savior was born? Have any idea? The name of the town. There was this uh, man, this prophet, hundreds of years before Jesus was born, and he said, when the Messiah comes, he's going to be born in a very, very small town, and it's going to be called Bethlehem. And you say, Bethlehem? Yeah, we know that. We know Bethlehem. We know where Jesus was born. Well, do you know what the name Bethlehem means? It has a meaning, you know. And we say, we, we don't know. Well, you could ask your teacher or you could ask your pastor what the name Bethlehem means because it means something and something important. So you might want to know that about Jesus. So what about Jesus' father and mother? You know, do you know their names? And you say, yeah, we know their names. You say, okay, that's fine. Well, do you know, you know anything about his earthly parents, where they were from, the town that they came from? Do you know that they spent time in Egypt? Did you know that about them? So sometimes we, you know, we want to learn a little bit more about Jesus' earthly father and mother. So if we say that we love Jesus, then we have to ask maybe like, well, why do we love him? I mean, I, I'm a pastor, so I say, you know, do you love Jesus? And of course the response is, you know, yes. I, I do love Jesus, Pastor, that's what I'm supposed to say. And then I would say, well, okay, but why do you love him? What's the point of loving Jesus? He loves you, but do you love him back? Yes, but why? Why do you love him back? Well, sometimes, and maybe this will happen to you today, maybe it happened to you yesterday, but it has happened to you and it will happen to you. That sometimes we'll say things or we'll do things and when we do, we kind of get a yucky feeling in our stomach and we know whatever we said and whatever we did, it wasn't good and it wasn't right. And then I say, well, what do I do with those yucky feelings? What do I do when I say things and do things that make me feel awful inside? And I can't sometimes, I can't really help myself. I, I want to do better, but I can't seem to help myself. But who's going to help me take away those yucky feelings? feelings that I have when I say things that I, 
I know are wrong, and I do things that I know are not right and that they hurt other people. What do I do about those yucky feelings? Well, the only one who can really help you with that is, is Jesus, your Savior. He's the only one. Because he did something for you a long time ago, 2,000 years ago. He did something for you that is the most amazing display of love for you. You weren't there, I wasn't there, but he was there. And it was on a small hill outside this big city called Jerusalem. You know what it was. It was a cross. Somebody had to pay. Had to pay for your sins and my sins and Jesus he kind of like volunteered and he said, I will do it because I've lived a sinless life. And so I'm able to do that. I'm able to, to lay down my life for your life. I'm willing to pay the price for you to have eternal life and also to make sure you know that you are forgiven and that you're released. And those yucky feelings that we have, they're removed, they're all gone and we can go on and go on and go on with our lives. So that's why we love him. And we love him so, so deeply. But if we love him, right? If we do love him and we say we love him and we do, then yeah, maybe we ought to know a little bit more about him. So why not we, you, me, Pastor Flamin, we're gonna be here for a while. Why don't we together kind of decide that we're gonna learn a little bit more about Jesus every time we meet in chapel and get to know him just a little bit better because we know he loves us and we love him back. And because we love him back, we wanna know just a little bit more about him. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day. Amen.